Hello everybody, welcome to lecture 15 of our course Computing Ethics and Society. In this lecture, we're gonna continue in chapter 5 and we're gonna discuss just one topic. So, this lecture will be short. The topics we are going to discuss is the identity theft and credit card fraud. Why we discuss this kind of crime? The, the answer is because it is very important topic. And this kind of crime is very common, especially uh, in the easiness of shopping online by e-commerce. So, identity theft the virus crimes in which criminals use the identity of an unknown innocent person. What they do, they use credit or debit card numbers, personal information, and social security numbers. 18 to 29 year olds are the most common victims because they use the web most and are unaware of risks. E-commerce has made it easier to steal and use card numbers without having a physical card. The most commonly used techniques to steal personal and financial information are the requests for personal and financial information disguised as legitimate business communication. This can be done by phishing, smishing, wishing, email, text messaging, voice, phishing, and so on. Farming is the false websites that fish for personal and financial information by planting false URLs in domain name servers. Online resumes and job hunting sites may reveal SSNs, work history, their dates, and other information that can be used in identity theft. How can you respond to the identity theft? How can you protect yourself? Let's see some points. First, authentication of email and websites. Use of encryption to securely store data so it's useless if stolen. Authenticating customers to prevent use of stolen numbers may trade convenience for security. In the event information is stolen, a fraud alert can flag your credit report. Some businesses will cover the cost a credit report if your information has been stolen. For these responses, we're gonna discuss in details two responses to identity theft. The first one, authenticating customers and preventing use of stolen numbers. Here are some points. The first one, activation for new credit cards. Second, Retailers do not print the full card number and expiration date on receipts. Software detects unusual spending activities and will prompt retailers to ask for identifying information. Services like PayPal acts as third party allowing a customer to make a purchase without revealing their credit card information to a stranger. The biometrics. Biometrical characteristics unique to an individual, such as uh, eye print, fingerprint, etc. No external item, such as card, keys, etc., to be stolen. Used in areas where security needs to be high, such as 
identifying airport personnel biometrics can be fooled but more difficult to do so especially as more sophisticated system are developed this is what I wanted to show you and we reach to the end of this lecture see you in the next lecture goodbye